Hey guys, James from the GAP server, and today I'm just going to be showing you guys how to install Dynamap on your server. Um, Dynamap is basically a little mapping tool that allows you to look at your server, um, see the players that are in it, chat to them, see what they're talking about, and see where they are um, through you, you know your internet browser, so Chrome, Safari, and you, know, you can see your players through that, so you don't have to be on the server to be able to see them, and also you don't have to be on the server to talk to them. Um, and there's other features as well that you can add to it through other plugins. Um, you can set up new new kind of icons at different places. So you know you can set up a house and it has a little house icon. You can have a little pub with a pub icon. You know, like a little beer cup or something like that. Um, so what you want to do is go to the to the dev.bucket.org site. Um, this is the new bucket site or the newish. They're kind of like really pushing this forward to take over. Um, so the link will be in the description and you want to download that and we'll download the latest version and once we've done that and it's downloaded we want to go over to our server folder and we're going to open it we want to go to our plugins folder and we want to open up a new finder go to our downloads open up Dynamap and these two you need to both drag you need to drag both of them into your plugins folder so you can drag them copy them doesn't matter as long as they're both in your plugins folder now that's actually your, obviously your plugin um, and then in here is basically where all your important files are so these are your codings for it to display on a website so if you go to um, sorry that's that right now what you want to do is go back and you want to launch your server so make sure you've got port map running and start dot command and it's going to open up with the bash and then it's basically going to load the plugin so you can see there it's loading up uh, dynamap is loading up and dynamap is still loading up and there we go it's done so we're going to stop that now and then we're going to close that and we want to go into the plugins folder um, and go back into Dynamap and you can see there's a load more files in there now if you click on the configuration.txt you can see it gives you um, many options to change things on it so you can turn the web chat off you can, you can um, turn different commands off so if we now go to um, the actual the actual page we'll have to start up the server first um, go back and start and then we're gonna run it off of the if you scroll down there'll be a little link and it says local host um, two dots eight one two three now eight one two three is basically the port so if you have to do ports in in your in your um, setup then you have to do that and once it's all up and running you should be able to load this page and you can see it's loading Dynamap now this is the Dynamap layout, it's basically sort of like Google Maps um, and as you can see nothing's actually load, loaded up as of yet but you can type into here and you can you can chat with people um, you also have other options on the side to, with different views so now once we've done this we want to go over um, and you can see there that it's come up so we want to stop the server again um, and that will stop it from working on here. The map will still be available sometimes, um, but it won't be running function. It won't be functioning. So you can see we've got different options here, and the web chat there you can turn to false, so people can't talk um, through Dynamap. So random people can access your Dynamap unless you lock it. Uh, so you know they could write offensive stuff to you, um, and but on the plus side they could also have a general chat with you. So you know um, it's a personal preference with the server. Um, and you can see there's loads of different options here. You can change them to play about with with your kind of um, with how you want it. And we we basically want to leave all of this alone unless you really want to change some stuff like turning off the chat. Um, another thing that sometimes has to occur is you have to change the port number, but that's very rarely again. Um, so you know we don't really need to touch that too much. Um, so you know if you if you have edited that then you're gonna need to restart the server so we're gonna start it up again. And we're gonna open up Minecraft. 
And we want to go on to the multiplayer and local host when it's loaded. And it's done. So now we want to refresh and connect. And there seems to be a slight issue. If you do now, if you have access to the terminal page like this bit, then this can make life a lot more easier. If not, you have to use the commands in game. Uh, now, these commands you have to give yourself permission to use. Um, I'm just going to opt myself to make sure that I have these options. There we go. All right, so I want to write forward slash uh, dine render. I think it is. No. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I had a bit of a brain fart. Now, I'll give also the link to this site now, uh, and it's basically a whole list of commands you can use in Dynamap. So, what we're going to use first is Dynamap Full Render, and basically everything that you've walked around on the map and that the game has rendered will be rendered on Dynamap. So, we're going to open up that on Minecraft, or you can also do it through the terminal. Um, and you want to type forward slash Dynamap Full render and you can see that it's starting up a full render on our world now this generally takes a, a good 10 minutes or so depending on how big your world is um, on how you know how much it is um, and you can see there it gives you some some options uh, some information sorry now if you load this you can see that it started to render um, and if we zoom in we can see my character is there spook a11 um, and you can see it gives me, it shows my life and my health, uh, my armor. Um, and you can see that the spawn is there. And you can also see the rest of the world is slowly rendering, which is really quite cool rather than having to walk around and for the game to render it itself. Um, so, you know, this makes life a whole lot more easier for yourself and other users. So, now if we go back into here and we type, hey, oh, type of a pull up chat, All right, hey you can see that it comes up on Dynamap and it also comes up in the chat here now if I write hey back in through Dynamap it will come up through here and it will show my IP but because I'm using local host it's not going to show it so you get the gist of what we're doing here um, some of the other commands you can do is uh, render certain worlds um, you can hide your user from on there um, and you can show them obviously you can update stuff um, you can cancel renders, statistics, so you can see uh, stats on sort of where places have been um, rendered. You can also set markers, which are basically the icons that I was telling you about. Um, and that's apart from configurations. That's pretty much it. Um, you know, it's something that's really worth having for your server. It makes life a whole lot more easier if you've got a big world for people to locate you and see where you are. Um, and if you have two monitors, it's perfect because you can have Minecraft on one monitor and um, Dynamap on another. Or if you have two computers, you can do the same. Uh, it makes life a whole lot more easier because you can navigate where you're going very easily. Um, so that's basically set up now for us to use. Um, and that should have finished rendering because there's not much of the world that we've loaded. So you can see there that we've got a full kind of scale view. And if we click on this little X at the top, it will hold it open and we can also have a 3D view of the area so we can get a rough idea of what sort of area we're going to be looking at and working on. Um, and it's just generally a very good piece of kit to use. You can also locate cave systems um, and I believe the green is higher and the blue is deeper. Um, so you know, if you're, if you're mining this is a great system to work out where, where cave systems are for you know mobs, diamonds, that kind of stuff. Um, so you know, it's a really good plugin to use, I well recommend it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Also join our server. Um, it's minecraft.japps.co.uk. From there you can join. Um, and the forums are there. So if, you know, if you've got videos, things that you need help with, if you just generally need help with Minecraft stuff, you can post it into forums and we'll reply. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and goodbye.